I've been working on the new chapter in the uh, Epic Boring Bar Holder remake video. It's going to be my uh, magnum opus for this year. And as you can see, drilling the hole and dreaming the hole went fine. It fits nicely. Unfortunately, when I looked at the video for this new chapter, the sound uh, was not there. Just a constant hum. Most likely because the external microphone wasn't plugged in properly. I have no idea how that happened. So I will have to uh, reshoot most of this chapter, but this time without uh, misaligning the uh, top slide when I tightened up the tool post clamp because I don't feel like lining up the uh, top slide again. But I am going to shoot some more two camera footage uh, to practice my editing with. Um, because I want to try out this uh, feature in DaVinci Resolve which synchronizes the uh, recordings based on the audio and that might uh, make editing with two cameras just a bit easier. So tonight I am going to uh, clean up this, uh, this side on uh, this piece of uh, streptonium um, the uh, other side was already done on the face mill. This piece is also a bit wider than uh, what I uh, previously used and that might actually be a good thing because there will be a bit more room to put in some uh, set screws. So uh, let's clean this up uh, using the uh, four jaw on the old blue cargolave. But first I'm going to clean up this piece a bit using a file so it will fit a little bit better in the four jaw. A lot of material was pushed over with the uh, face mill. So it needs a lot of cleaning. Now I'm going to do the other three sides, but I won't be filming that. Maybe one more. And now I'm really going to switch off the camera. So the first thing I need to do is another uh, shock switcheroo. Um, I was planning to use the uh, small boring bar to get the chuck undone, but that hole just doesn't fit. And I don't remember what I used uh, the last time. Let's try this little chuck wrench. Hopefully it's not too stuck. I already got it. That was easy. I guess drilling a hole didn't uh, tighten up the uh, chuck or the spindle nose. And here's the little four jaw. Now I need to get the workpiece and change the camera angle. Around this time of day the sun is hitting the south side of the barn. So I will close up this window and hopefully that will help a little bit. I still see some sunlight under the uh, pulley. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Then that is gone. Now I'm going to get the workpiece. Are the subject of this movie. Where is it? I lost it again. Where or oh where did I put it? It's not on the ground. That's the 
That's not it. I'm panicking! It's not in my pockets. Ah, there it is. It was on the bed of the wave. Chucky! I need my Chucky! There it is. Mm. Alright, let's install this. I need to move it a little bit to get it a bit more in balance. I guess every little bit helps. A couple of taps with the nylon hammer. Tightening up the jaws a bit more. And we should be ready to go. And next I need to uh, set up a pointy bit. I just enabled autofocus and focus tracking and I'm expecting the camera to uh, keep focus on this point here while I uh, move the uh, top slide. Well, did I do a good job? It still looks in focus. If it turns out okay, I will uh, edit it in. If not, you will never know this uh, happened. So for this next shot I uh, switched off focus tracking. Let's set up this pointy bit. So hopefully the uh, top slide won't move again when I tighten up this nut. Good. So now I need to set up my second camera. Because that's the whole point of this uh, exercise. I will set this second camera up so it will directly film over the top of the tool slide. Something like that. Alright, second camera is rolling and if everything works out DaVinci Resolve should line up these uh, audio clips or these uh, cameras. Switching on the frequency drive. Oh, I almost forgot to shoot a little oil into the bearings. Okay, that's done. And now I'm ready to uh, start this. We need more speed. Fifty five hertz, almost five hundred RPM. Should be enough. And we're cleaning again. You 
you want to look, you want a picture, that can be arranged. Let's continue the cleaning. Oh, we almost forgot to do an oil painting. For nicer, uh, smoky effects. Beautifully artistically done. A real artist. The smoke looks uh, cool in the sunlight. But I guess you don't see that uh, on camera. might be taking off a bit too much because the cross light is hard to turn maybe the pointy plate is uh, fucked up Let's see how that looks. Feels like a little high spot in the middle there. Let's do another uh, finishing pass. A very light one. Of course with a bit of oil. And let's speed up the lathe a bit. Six hundred RPM. Okay, that's done. It's a little bit better. Here comes the picture. I guess uh, I can now stop the cameras. A quick cleanup with a file and then I can continue with the reshoot for chapter number four in uh, the epic Boring Bar Holder remake video. Nice cleaning job. I guess I could become a janitor. And here's a picture of my uh, cleaning job. I'm sorry, but you're back behind the lathe, staring at the ass end of the tailstock. So you can look directly at the chuck. 
I'll move the uh, cross light out of the way. Because I want to shoot some uh, more footage from the chuck that I can use in uh, Da Vinci Resolve Fusion to try and make an uh, animation. And you probably already saw the first uh, results of that uh, experiment at the start of this video. Okay, now I need to line up the camera at the middle. That should be good enough. You know what? Let's install the workpiece. It might uh, have a nice effect. I could replace the surface here with a uh, picture of myself or something like that. Ah no, just kidding. Damn gravity! And of course that landed in the swarf bucket. And now it's all dirty. But dirty, that's uh, our natural state of being. Now let's spin the uh, chuck real slow. This is 26 RPM, only 3 Hz, and I know it cannot go much slower. 2.4 Hz, and it stops. 2.8. If some of you have an idea for a uh, cool animation, put it in the comments. I'll see if I can uh, use it. Although I must admit that I am still pretty much a beginner, a uh, very confused beginner when it comes to using Fusion. But if you don't try, it uh, is never going to be something. Two point six hertz. It is still spinning. So that's good. I got a uh, piece of foam or some sort of mat that I use uh, to sit on when wrenching on a car outside. Yeah, I got it hanging over the uh, frequency drive, and it is shielding the uh, sunlight. I will edit in a picture. I have to shield the lens hood from the sunlight with my hand. But here comes the picture. Thank you. Alright, I'm done with this now. I will continue reshooting that next chapter. And I will switch the camera off for now.